everyone, this is Tammy with JustMakeTime.com. I'm here to share with you a very quick and easy little Valentine's giveaway that your kids can hand out to their friends at school. Something that you can hand out to your students in your classroom if you're a teacher or maybe even hand out for your Sunday school class. Um, it's a good alternative to handing out candy. Um, definitely if the children that you're giving these to are um, a little bit older, I would say like four or five and up. Um, but these, you've probably seen this on Pinterest, and this is where I got the idea. Um, and it's just a really simple and cute little idea. These are glow bracelets that you can pick up at the dollar store, and a simple little tag and some holes and you just thread them through and it's very quick very easy and um, if you want to see how to make a quick my heart glows for you valentine giveaway then keep watching okay guys to get started you will only need a few supplies you will need a container of glow bracelets it's the what i used and the pack that i got from the dollar store has 15 of them in there so you can go a long way for just a few dollars and you'll need a tag of some sort and there are a lot of tags that are out there on the internet that you can go ahead and print off this one I made using the silhouette cameo but you can easily recreate this using your just Microsoft Word or something like that um, and just cut it off into rectangles this is one point six yeah one point six inches tall by five point seven five long my bracelets I believe they measured like seven and a half inches not quite eight um, so that's where I came up with that measurement um, you could actually hand write something on here you really wouldn't even have to get that fancy you could like in Microsoft Word just write out your sentiment mine says my heart glows for you and um, just then cut that out with either a paper trimmer if you have one or just use your scissors. I didn't want to make this too intricate or doing banner edges or anything like that because I wanted to keep it simple for you because um, you, it is a simple project. Then all you will do once you cut, you have everything cut out and printed, just take a hole punch and I use my crocodile. I use the largest hole, um, I don't even know what's, 3 sixteenths inch hole and it just barely is big enough so a standard hole punch I don't know is it the same size or not but um, the 3 16th will work so just punch a hole in either end in the center that's all you gotta do and then the best way to thread this through without actually breaking the bracelet is you don't want to do that you don't want it to go ahead and start going dead before they receive it um, so be very careful when you're transporting these. But I found it best to kind of fold my paper or my little tag where the ends are together and thread it through one hole without trying to uh, put too much pressure on the bracelet. See, it just, you kind of have to work with it to get it in there. Um, just slide it through. A little bit a little ways and then go ahead and put the other end through and work with it being very careful and then kind of slide them together kind of halfway out and then turn it over and then just kind of extend it to the edges at that point and just play with it and get it to where you want it on there, kind of centering up. So this one's going to be stubborn since it's on camera here. And then that's all there is to it. Very quick, very easy. I guess the only thing you need to do is be careful and not to break the bracelet ahead of time. So it may not be something you want to do too far in advance and then definitely transport these in some type of container where they're going to lay flat and not kind of roll around and get broken on you but it's very simple very cute and like I said it, it doesn't take a whole lot of money to do this um, I did this one on craft cardstock and 
as you can even tell it didn't even cut on the right lines but you know it doesn't matter and I also cut it out again in white so you can kind of decide which one you like better and I'll go ahead and do another one for you on camera let's see what color we pull well that one's clear hmm. interesting there's a yellow one we'll do that lay those to the side and just like I said this is on white cardstock we'll take our hole punch and just kind of eyeball 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 here I can't do this on camera just kind of center it up and punch your hole do the other side center it up punch your hole there you go and then we're going to kind of fold it up and take your end see that's not even in the middle go ahead and thread that through a little bit it's kind of easier on this white cardstock I guess since it's not as thick um, keep that in mind and then thread that one in and just kind of gently Pull them to where you want them, line them up, and there you go. It's that simple. Thank you so much for watching and following along with me. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and um, follow along with other video tutorials that I'll have coming your way. And if you um, want to see more information about the tools and things that I use to create this, head over to my blog at JustMakeTime.com. I'll have a list of supplies there and a few more um, pictures to go along with the blog post. And if you haven't subscribed there, please go ahead and subscribe to my blog. And thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, I'm back. These are bracelets, and of course, they can't become a bracelet without the connector. So be sure um, in your container to get the connectors out. You should have one for each bracelet, and just slip that in to one end of your um, bracelet, and be sure and give one of those along with the actual bracelet itself, so that when they do break it open, that you can connect it into a bracelet. So, it wouldn't be a fun little treat. It wouldn't be a fun bracelet without the connector. So, there you guys have it. Yeah, a lot of glows, a lot of these, um, to do this quick Valentine's little gift thing that you're inside your container you'll also look at all that ink on my hands be sure with every little treat that you hand out that you slip one of the connectors on the end and I just broke that one open see how 